Welcome everyone. Um, I thought I would show you today a um, real queen cell that the bees have built themselves as opposed to an artificial one. So a close up look between the two um, and uh, you can get different colours of these of course but there's nothing like the real thing where you have um, the beeswax make their own, uh, sorry the bees make their own using beeswax. So uh, just to give you a perspective on size, uh, the queen cell typically, this is quite a small one actually I must say, I've seen much larger. Um, about two centimeters roughly um, in size. So I'm trying to get this into the camera shot, and uh, approximately um, there you go. So about three, three to four mil in width in opening. So how does that compare to the fake or to the artificial one? And these are much larger, so clearly. These are about the five to six, five millimeters. So they're much larger. Uh, to be honest, it, that's what it will be. I'll just uh, destroy this one here by opening this up. And I think we've probably hit the same width to be honest, precisely. On the inner wall, it was exactly that, the, the same same width there, yeah? So if you're planning to uh, graft your own queens and reproduce them, you would normally need some of these. Uh, well, you don't need them, but if you're planning to do queens in larger quantities, you would opt to either make these yourself, which there is um, some great videos out there on there, Fat B Man, if you um, check out his channel, he's got some great videos on how to make your own uh, cups, but uh, you know, you can uh, force the queen, uh, force the beast to make many, uh, many queen cells and for the super sieges and then just craft them off and, you know, depending on how many queens you need, of course, how many hives you have, but if you're just a small time beekeeper, uh, you know, with a few hives, you certainly don't want to go into the trouble, just purchase them. But what you'd normally have is, is one of these uh, light uh, magnifying glasses with a button and a light, yeah. So when you're looking inside, you would uh, normally use the little one with a bit of a light so that you can see inside you would have your frame and this is the little tool uh, for the extraction of the freshly laid eggs you would go from the from the frame of the young eggs that were just laid today you take this little hook Carefully look through your magnifying glass, yeah, uh, like so, and uh, you would just take the egg on the inside, like so, scoop it up very, very carefully, so then you have it on the tip, like that. I don't have any at the moment, so I do apologise for not being able to show you that. And then you would very carefully grab the queen cells and you would place that carefully on the inside in the middle like so and that's uh, that's pretty much all you do leave it there and the queen uh, the bees um, will start to make their own uh, their own queen again inside these cups um, hopefully that shed a little bit of light I do apologize for the video not being all that Fantastic this time around. I'm, I'm trying to work in a very tight space with lenses um, and to keep things in focus is 
is difficult at times, but uh, hopefully you've got a, got a little bit of look at what is required. If you've never seen these, you can buy these cups in uh, larger quantities, of course, if you plan to do more queens or have the need to do more queens uh, and replace, you know, requeen your hives, which you should do every couple of years at least, depending on the queen and depending again on your operation, you know, if you if you're a, a high volume beekeeper, you will definitely need lots of queens and you might not even have the time to, for these, so you buy your queens in, in bulk. Uh, look, there's lots of videos, lots of books out there on those things. So I won't keep you uh, on this uh, on this short video. I just thought I'd show you the, the cup, which is always a beautiful uh, construction to see uh, how the bees do it themselves, how they always have the exact correct size, um, the correct design, how they do it, who knows. It is, of course, a natural phenomenon that just, they just, know what to do and when to do it and how uh, so it's fantastic hope you like the videos if you do please uh, we invite you to subscribe to our channel we try to add a video each week or more and um, click the thumbs up it does help our videos um, we really really appreciate that and um, hopefully we'll see you in our next installment see you then